Ina, konbanwa, Jesus Freaking Gamer here. Joshua chapter 8, verse 1. This one kind of took me by surprise, and hopefully it will you too once I read it. Now the Lord said to Joshua, Do not be afraid nor be dismayed. Take all the people of war with you and arise, go up to Ai. See, I have given into your hand the king of Ai, his people, his city, and his land. And you shall do to Ai and its king as you did to Jericho and its king. Only its spoil and its cattle you shall take as booty for yourselves. Lay an ambush for the city behind it. Now, in the previous chapter, another very famous Bible passage, um, Achan, he takes some stuff from the city of Jericho, and the Lord said, you know, you're not taking anything from here. You kill all the people, you, you destroy all the animals, and the, other, the, the stuff that you could call booty would be taken into the treasury of the Lord. He said specifically not to do that. Achan disobeyed, and he was killed for it. Read it back in Joshua chapter 7. One city later, the Lord says, by the way, you can take the spoils. All he needed to do was wait for one more city. He could have had cool stuff. Like, I probably wouldn't have been the exact same cool things that he found in Jericho. It looks like I was a smaller city than Jericho. So he might not have had quite as much of a dig as he had, but he wouldn't have died. All he had to do was wait for one city. If he had just obeyed the Lord waited on him, just one more city, and he could have had cool stuff and lived and have been blessed and not been in sin and, again, died. So it's really worth it to wait on the Lord and to obey his commands. It just pays off. You end up not sinning. You end up not bringing death and destruction on yourself. And usually, when you do obey the Lord, the wait isn't that long. Just personal experience talking here. But usually once you do obey the Lord in whatever sacrifice He's calling you to do, the wait's usually not that long afterwards. And that's it for today. I love you guys. God bless.